Schweiner's Children's Hawaii is the first hospital in the state to use a new type of procedure to repair torn knee ligaments. KITV4 Cynthia Yep spoke with a person who had the operation, a 17-year-old girl from IAEA. Carly Kaneshiro is the first patient in Hawaii to receive this innovative procedure that encourages the ligament to grow back together again. Carly is a cheerleader at Mililani High School and injured her ACL during practice. Dr. Craig Ono at Shriners Children's Hawaii suggested the bare implant treatment. At first, Carly's mom was apprehensive because this is the very first time the procedure has ever been done in Hawaii. Just doing more research, um, watching videos, and just the confidence in Dr. Ono, how he was very confident. Like, um, doing the procedure, we felt very reassured that, like, okay, we can do this. And just the fact that it would be less invasive, um, taking other parts from her knee, um, yeah, that was... That was very comforting. So I think the repair is better because you don't have to worry about like another part of your knee trying to heal too. Your own tissue is the, the best. That's the reason why we went to grafts instead of putting these artificial ligaments in. Instead of using the ligament from the injured knee to reconstruct the ACL, the Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration Implant, or BEAR technique, involves using an implant injected with the patient's own blood. It's injected with the patient's blood because we want to also add elements into the, into the collagen or that matrix in order to allow for healing potential. It's put into the notch uh, where the anterior cruciate ligament repair is done in order to provide that ideal environment for it to heal. The implant is absorbed by the body usually within eight weeks. Carly is expected to make a full recovery in six to nine months with the help of physical therapy. She can then get back to the jumps and moves of cheerleading. Reporting from the Shriners Children's Hawaii in Honolulu, Cynthia Yip, KITV4 Island News.